This is the Sunseeker Predator 55 Evo. It is a brand spanking new model from Sunseeker. I'm down at the factory and we are the very first people to get to see this boat. So I'm very excited to bring it to you. It's a really lovely boat. I'll just show you some of the other ones that were here, incidentally, while we're down here. That's the new Manhattan 55. We've got a video of that coming as well, if it's not on the channel already. This is the Sport Yacht 74. There's a 74 Predator down there, a 76 yacht. You can see just how many boats they build down here. It's a very, very busy place. Anyway, let's focus on the one we're actually here to show you. So this, as I say, is a brand new model. One of the things that they've changed to this window line with things like the stainless steel detailing in here, which looks really nice. But also, if we go on back down the boat, this has got the carbon fibre detailing on these engine vents. That looks absolutely fantastic. That is a fair old chunk of carbon fibre there, actually. Looks really good. Let's come right to the back. There is a high-low platform on this one, but also, because it's a Predator, this one has the tender garage. And I'm going to show you that, because it's worth taking a look at. Now, there's a little switch for it, which we will find up here. Garage open. There we go, you can see that coming up. Now this is a pretty decent garage. You can imagine with this bathing platform drop down, you've got direct access, you can put a Williams 325 in there. And the way it goes in is up on this roller system. If we go right in, you'll see that there's a winch for it right up at the front. There's a control for the winch just there. So what you do is you hit the down button, the winch gently releases and the tender rolls down into the water. Obviously when you come back you hook back on, hit the up button and in she goes. But that's a really good sized garage in this one. As I say it has the high load platform as well. So you've got a lot of flexibility there. Now this takes us up to the cockpit. I'm just going to drop that garage back down a moment. So those ones there. There we go. Now there are a few things to mention here. There's a small sun pad, as you can see, but you can increase the size of that quite a bit by pulling that fella forward. And now you've got a really massive sunbathing area on the back of the boat. Let's push that one back again. There's also a shade that comes out from here. You can just see the edge of it. So that powers out electrically. So if you want some shade here on a really hot day, you can have it. And there are different options for this part of the deck. So as we have at the minute, we've got the wet bar over on this side. So this has got the barbecue and there is a sink underneath that one and then beneath it you've got your fridge and an ice maker. If you prefer what you can have instead of that is a seat that comes down here so you've got aft facing seating which I think is a nice idea actually that also makes the table a little bit longer as well. This table also folds out so if you're dining you can have a much bigger area or you can just delete that and have this completely open so you've got more room around this area of the boat. Let's close that one back up but I think the key element of this boat really is the adaptability of it because as we come into here you can see you've got a closed area and a deck saloon so this then in an area where it's a bit cooler or indeed very hot gives you a very climate controlled area. You've got seating around here, really big, deep, comfortable seats. There's a TV, of course, that rises up over on this side. And then in here, you've got a fridge and your bar area is in here as well. And then if we go forward from here, this I really like, it's a raised, it's also a little observation area where Maggie's chilling out. And it means that when you're underway, this would be very much an owner-operator boat. So you'd have the owner of the boat or whoever's driving the boat here at the helm. Somebody can sit next to them, but it means that people can join in the ride and really feel part of the experience. The helm itself, some quite neat detailing here. It's all glass screens now. So you've got engine instrumentation. You can see over on this side, you've got charts over here, but again, you can configure this however you want. Engine controls are here. This one's on shafts, but it has got a joystick control. That's linking a bow and stern thruster and the engines. So you can maneuver the boat by twisting it or pushing it to the side and it will respond accordingly. These buttons here then, these control these screens up here. So if you touch that, you can see it takes you into different aspects. You don't have to lean forward and touch it. It's all controlled from there. And then this one, if we light that up, how well you can see that that is giving you things like exterior lighting you can access from here you can go into the ventilation systems you can go into the uh, power system so ac power 
or DC power. So that's giving you access to all of those systems. And that's an autopilot just there. But what I think is great about this is the fact that you've got this massive glass paneled roof just here. And if we push a button here, that whole thing powers back electrically. And that's not the only part that moves. I'll get that back and I shall show you something else. So that completely opens this area up because a really open aspect, but we can do more. We can come back here, release these little catches on this back window, like so. And then there's a button out here, which is patio open. And there we go. And now that one's opening as well. It's a one touch button. And so that will rise all the way up. And what that does is it turns this from a closed deck saloon boat into a really open experience because we've got all this at the back completely open. We've got this open. So you've got a bit of a hard top in between them, but it just makes this feel like an open boat. If we step up here, we can stand up here when a boat's underway, looking out over the front. It's just a fantastic place to be. And the helm as well, as you can see over there, just completely opens the whole experience up. And in fact, what they've done is they've put this in like that. And that means that when you're driving the boat, you can stand on here if you want to, reach the steering wheel, which adjusts. And there's your view out over the front. So you've got the proper sports boat open experience, or you can have it completely closed up. I think that is a really nice touch. And in fact, just one more thing to mention before we head for the lower deck. This area here, we've got a little coffee table at the moment, which looks really nice, but you can have a dining table there if you prefer. So if you want to be able to eat inside, you can select that instead. Anyway, let's head on forward and let's go down to the lower deck because this also is full of options. If we head down on here, galley is over on the port side. Very nicely done, loads of workspace. I love these handles they're putting on here now. They look really good. That's got a small fridge in it, but that's a supplementary fridge because your main fridge then is over on this side. This, of course, is all storage along here. You've got your sun seeker cutlery in there. All soft clothes, as you'd expect. Miele cooking, so it's all electric, oven and hob. Loads more storage up in places like this. That is a very nice area. And then you've got this lower dinette area. So you can sit down here, you can fold these out if you want to. And that makes a nice little area where you can tuck yourself away. However, if you prefer, you can lose that, have a bulkhead across here and have that as a third cabin. It's got bunk beds in it, so one up here and one down here. And that then obviously gives you a three cabin layout. And there's another alternative, which is an extended galley. So you can have this like a utility area. So you could have washing machine over there, maybe a dishwasher, that kind of thing, all fitted in. And it makes this whole area right across here, one big galley area. Great if you're entertaining, of course. The TV over here, I like that they put these mirrors in as well. It just makes the whole area feel a bit bigger. And then if we head on forward, love the way they've done these doors. This has got the, uh, the walnut wood finish in this boat. You have options on that. You can have the silver oak and you can have eucalyptus now as well, which is a nice finish. And then that is your guest cabin. Scissor beds. So these pull together and you can make that into a center line double if you prefer. And again, tons of storage about the place. So hanging locker in there, for example. This is storage up along the top like so. Some big hatches in here as well. One of those opens, of course, so you've got extra ventilation in here if you want it. And, uh, and big windows as well. We're at the Sunseeker factory, as I think I mentioned. So we're in pool at the moment. You can see a bit of the estuary is there. But it's a big, spacious cabin. Loads of room in here, loads of headroom. Very nicely done indeed. And then behind, this is ensuite access to the day heads. So in here, you've got a completely separate shower area. It's a rainfall shower. Your sink is in here, of course. There's the loo in here and a bit of storage tucked away behind. And then we come out of here and head on around. Big TV in here. That's nice. If people want to tuck themselves away of an evening and watch a movie, they can do. 
back out through here, that's another door into the day head. So of course, during the day, that's the access to that. You'll notice those hatches under the floor. These are access to systems. So if we open this one, for example, we will find some of the plumbing systems. So the gray water tank, the fresh water tank is in there and a lot of the plumbing is in there as well. So that's easy to reach. If there's any maintenance needed to be done, obviously very important. And that one there, similar kind of thing. Accessing the top of the, uh, the black water tank there. So that is this part of the lower deck, but of course there's more because we go through this door over here. This will take us into the master cabin. And this is a great size, look at that. You've got big hanging lockers in here as you expect, like so. And this is lovely, they put the lighting in behind here and the wood trim. If you prefer, you can have just a straight settee all the way across there, or indeed you can swap that out for storage if you want extra storage. And look at these neat little bedside cabinets. You've got these little areas here to drop your phone in, lighting tucked away underneath. It's all really nicely done. And that is all storage across that side. TV in here. And as you'd expect, this has got its own ensuite. And that's over here. So your loo is there, and if you come right in, we'll find the shower in the then round behind the door. Another rainfall shower. Very nice indeed. That is a great cabin. Lovely. Let's head on out. Plenty more to see, including all the deck areas and of course the engine room. I like that they've done these steps. I like the lighting underneath it as well. That would look really good. And back up to the main deck. As I say, this just feels so open when you walk up here with the roof open. That's an electric drop window on that side. So if you want more ventilation, you can have it. And there's wonderful comfortable seating area but this as I say I think is the real key to this boat this adaptability of having this window that rises up and the door that opens and completely opening the whole boat up anyway let's go look at the decks so if we head around here this of course takes us up to the fore deck this is interesting this is finished in black as you can see but you can have silver there or you can have white but the interesting thing about this black is that this is low solar absorption. So the idea of this is that it doesn't get really hot in the sunshine. It's very special paint. Let's head on right to the front. You've got another great area to come and lie out or sit around and have a chat. And what they've done with this is you'll see that there is a little sort of like a shelf just here. And the idea is you can put an infill in there. So you want more sunbathing then you can have it. And these little tie downs you can see about the place, these are so you can put covers over these. You don't have to take all these in at the end of the day. You just put covers over them if you want to cover them up. And that is those hatches over the forward cabin. So this one nearest to us opens and then that one is fixed. You've got um, anchor chain locker up here. That's underneath this one, really good size actually. And they've put it on a gas strut so that stays open. And what's quite clever is you can drop your fenders into there. Of course, the question then is how do you get them back out? What you do is you put your fender tails, the ropes that hold them on, and tie them onto there. So you can just untie them and hook them out. Nice little bit of attention to detail. There we go. I love these cleats with the little Sunseeker logos on. I don't know how you can see that. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice touch. Another thing they've done with this one as well, it's a little thing, but it's nice, is they've put a stainless steel middle bar in. Normally what you tend to have is stainless steel here and then wire. It's like white wrapped wire all the way back. With this it just looks a little bit more solid, a little bit more upmarket. Set on back, it's a bit breezy, hope not getting too much wind noise, but again look at this roof. That really opens that whole area out doesn't it? It's fantastic. And up on top you can see the radar, there's a searchlight up on top, TV aerial, all that kind of stuff all up on the top of the boat. Let's carry on down this side. And the last thing to look at is the engine space. That's down in here. And we access it, of course, down this ladder. OK, let's come right down and in. What you often find with boats with tender gouges, you can see the tender gouge here in fact, is that it does tend to squash down over the engines, but because this boat's a bit bigger, 
it doesn't. The engines are further forward. So once you get down and underneath here, as you can see, you've actually got quite a bit of room to maneuver down here. Now these engines are a pair of Volvo Penta, they're D11725, so they're 725 horsepower each. And they are a shaft drive, but what they've done is put them on a V drive. So normally with a shaft drive, you have your engine here, it's canted back, gearbox on the back, and then the shaft. You've seen those before if you've watched my videos. In order to get the engines further back in the boat, but to maintain shaft drive, what they've done is put the gearboxes of these on the front, and then you'll see the shaft goes back underneath. So it's called a V drive. Power goes out forward, through a V, and back down. It keeps the engines at the back, but it also gives you a shaft drive configuration. And up here on the front, you've got things like fuel filters, generator filter, some of the electrics are up on there. It's a pretty decent engine room, actually. It's well lit. And then back here is access to the steering systems. So these are the top of the rudders, uh, or top of the rudder posts, I should say, on either side. And your autopilot and that kind of stuff is all powered from here. So for a sports boat with a tender garage, this is actually a pretty decent engine room. And then finally down here, generator. Very good. You hear the water slapping against the back of the hull. I always find that's very relaxing. But I will try not to go to sleep just yet. And we'll head back out this way. Fire extinguishing system is here. You can see that big red fella just there. And then these are all circuit breakers tucked in behind here and fans and so on. Very good, very good indeed. So we'll come back up out of here and I think I'm going to finish off up by Maggie because that looks like a really nice area to go and relax. So back in through here again, see how open this is. That works brilliantly. Hello, Maggie. There we go, Maggie the Baggy. So that's it. That is the new Sunseeker Predator 55 Evo. Really lovely boat, very taken with that. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Huge thanks to Sunseeker International. They're the manufacturers and they organize this tour for me. And as ever, huge thanks to you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another one very soon. Take care, bye-bye.